Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to unlock Google account, also called FreePay Lock, on Samsung Galaxy A16 A165F model using Easy Junk Box. So, as you can see from this message and this icon, our phone FreePay Lock it. We have Android 15 on board, and that means that uh, BROM and Preloader ports are locked. We can easily check this in the load mode. Let's power off your phone. Just a minute. Now let's enter Odin mode, hold both volume case and connect cable. And confirm entering this power, sorry, with volume up button so if you see secretarial status zero that means that we are unlock it and we cannot service this phone via usb port so in our case we will solder directly to memory lines using this acp pinout you can see TXO and TXOP pins, RXO and RXOP, and also this phone required a step pin for connection because without a step pin, connection very unstable. A step pin should be soldered to VCC2 pin on socket. It's next after RXOP. You can see it here. So let's do this. Motherboard removed. Our pins located here in this place near between KPU and memory. I will cut a part of protection for much easier soldering. Try to remove it now. Need to cut a little bit more. And now I think it must remove. Yep, now okay, we have good access to ICP points now. Here you can see them, and let's solder now. So guys, soldering completed. You can see five pins soldered to ICP points, and also GND wire. You can see it here. So socket connected to GTAG, OACP pin soldered, also connected subboard to motherboard and USB cable connected to charger. We can test our connection now. Let's move to PC and run easy GTAG plus. Ours already choose UFS ACP. Let's press connect and wait for memory initialization. You can see Micron IC 
on board easy to tuck supports it like a shell so let's switch to samsung vendor tick read info and press consoles this will take a couple of time And here you can see our firmware version and you can see that we have Android 15 on board. Now let's press actions and remove 4P. Resistant erased and as well we will do also erasing for cache partition and user data partition because sometimes if we don't erase also user data and cache, 4P can can be not removed, so better to erase them also. Let's press erase. Micron memory don't have so fast speed as Samsung chips, but anyway, it don't take so much time. And now we see that user data erasing, but we do not need to wait for all erasing. We can stop process because even if we erase only one byte from this partition, it will be erased at all. So we can close session, close easy data, disconnect box. And let's desolder and test also. Don't forget to disconnect power. This time I will not clean motherboard after soldering. I will do this later when I will assemble phone. Currently we just need to check is it done or no. So don't worry about this. Yep. Okay. Now let's connect. Let's put motherboard back and connect battery let's press power button we see logo it's very nice also i think now phone will boot to recovery because we erased use the data partition but erasing not creating the file for system or maybe no no we put it to recovery <clears throat> now we should make factory reset this will create the file for system and phone will boot it without any problems after this to wait a couple of time for booting but this is new the phone at, and it will boot not so long time as 
old models. So already booted. Let's check. You can see that FIRP icon disappeared. And I think we will have skip option during network setup now. Yep, we have skip and can skip it. Let's press next, skip, skip anyway. More accept. And And finally press home. You can see the phone unlock it now. Let's move to firmware info and check version again. Sorry, not this here. And you can see same version. And Android 15 on board. Press like if you like this video. Follow channel and if somebody needs remote unlocks like user locks, VRP or network locks, you can always inbox me with number and video description. See you later guys.